Yes, it's Angelina and Dima from Walk Energy World. And we continue our GR11 trail, this time from a different place. The last time we left you in Catalonia, in the village Artias, after an extremely long day of hiking. It was very hot the last week or so, and we decided to move to a different region, hoping that the weather would be cooler here. And start GR trail in Navarra, to be able to walk until the ocean coast, and finish in there. We really like the idea, and also we have missed the ocean quite a lot since our last Camino. It should take us 8 or 9 days, to get to the coast. Hope for the good weather and good luck to us! The plan for today is to do 15 kilometers from the village of Jagalia, getting up several hundred meters to 1,300 meters. We're going to have less elevation changes now. Now we are at the northern side of Pyrenees. And hopefully it will help us to make it even in the hot weather and have more shade, we hope, than in the high mountains open parts that we had before. So we'll see how it will all go and let's get started with the day. From the very start we have quite a bit of a steep uphill to conquer, which is leading us to the small chapel on top of the hill. And overall we think we lie at the start. We still have to do today 5 to 600 meters of uphill overall for the day. And then we'll stop somewhere uh, at the highest point. And so yeah, up we go. Today's weather is promising to be very hot once again, more than 30 degrees probably Celsius and we're happy that we're doing the first major part of the uphill in the first part of the day when it's not that hot still and it's going in the shade. We really pray for that, that most of the trail would be in the shade, then it's gonna be doable and enjoyable. Now very fast, we have a bit of downhill to do again. You know, as the GR goes in a snaky kind of mode, up and down every time. And here at this part, we may have quite a bit of this up and down parts every day, but not such major as in the central part. So yeah, down we go and then up again. This first one and a half kilometer was very hot already, very good, it's sweaty. And there is no single wind today. Yeah, so it's not helping, definitely. But maybe we'll go over the mountain and it starts with a little bit of breeze because it's very important. <laughs> We're passing through the very beautiful area now with this green yellow hills right now in the month of August and yeah it's like really pretty like the cliffs with the white rocks on the side. This reminds a little bit of Ordesia Monte Perdido National Park where we didn't hike this year but we definitely would the next times around but yeah it's, it still kind of reminds reminds us of that and also a little bit of Camino actually, Camino del Norte, because we are already like getting close to the ocean coast and there is like quite a bit of fern and stuff like that, so it's like very reminiscent to that and brings back really good memories. At this 
part of the trail we started to be concerned about water sources because on the map we've seen only a few of them and it's not like set in stone. We're not sure if they're gonna be there. But now we see a little like stream on the way. We're kind of you know happy to know that because otherwise it would be impossible to camp whenever we want and not to get to the city to resupply and also to carry a lot of water which is you know inconvenient and very heavy. <clears throat> so yeah. So hopefully we're gonna meet such streams and oh it's not really ideal it's not like very very big one if you can see more I like you know the, the dirty water but if you filter it probably you can drink it one time or so and also cook with it it's fine so yeah hope it's gonna continue this way Now we have three kilometers of an uphill left and we see that it mostly goes in the sun, unfortunately. And the sun right now is very high on the sky. It's like more than 12 a.m. right now. They will start it a bit late, which is our fault. And so yeah, it's a little bit like striking us in the head and we get a bit dizzy, but we have to get there. So as early as we can. point for today 1400 meters it may not seem too much but still the views are very incredible here yeah we like it a lot you get like 360 views yeah so we didn't expect such pretty views you know to be honest with you because we're not you know in the, the high mountain part but it's still like the hills the rocks in the distance you know it is, it is very very beautiful here and a great spot you know hike overall. It's very reminiscent to the ocean coast because of the terrain, grass and moss. Yeah, we did the Camino del Norte, that's why we know it for sure, that it's like more of the Atlantic ocean coast climate, you know, <laughs> Spanish coast. And yeah, so we got a bit of wind, don't know how you're yeah. gonna hear us, but it's really like, oh, <laughs> feels so good now. We just had a snack right here in one of the fields because we didn't find the shade, it's like very far away. All we can see now is just the open spaces, so yeah, we had to just rest half an hour like that. And right now we continue mostly downhill. It's gonna be, you know, as I said, a little bit hilly on the way. We have around six and a half kilometers till the water fountain, what 
what it says on the map. We hope that it exists because we need to resupply badly. We have like just half liter of water left right now, so uh, that's not enough. Keep going, but you know, we can do the six kilometers, then resupply. Hopefully, everything gonna be fine. And yeah, we could do it. There is a little bit of a clouds on the sky, which hopefully also will help us from the heat because it's really hot, you guys, when you go uphill, just like get sweaty right away. So yeah, but the area we pass by is really, really pretty. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. made it the six and a half kilometers the hardest ones and this like precious water source <laughs> you can see this is the only one we met during the day this is like incredible how they didn't care about the hikers and didn't provide any like sources or I don't know like how other people do it like carry five liters of water ten liters <laughs> or go without drinking but we're very thirsty right now and yeah probably we're going to filter this one not, not sure but yeah and also very tight right now going to find mm -hmm. the camp spot somewhere here probably not going to go down anymore because we are pretty exhausted already and yeah there are some like potential camp spots so probably we'll stop somewhere here or we'll show you then We think that this water source is pretty nice and the water is clean and it's very very cold so yeah we are happy that we found it and we can stop somewhere here oh, and can drink as much as we like so we think we have finally found the camp spot it's gonna be somewhere here we'll show you it there now we have our shower set up ready to go just have to warm up a little bit our water because we bring a big gas container so we can use it for that as well we have like a big supply so we don't have to worry about it and yeah and as you can see it's pretty windy <laughs> don't know how it's gonna be for sleeping here maybe it's gonna be cold we don't know we just stepped away from the GR11 trail as you can see it goes goes up there and then there but here we found like more or less flat spots and stuff so we're pretty happy with that and well <laughs> what we can find better and hopefully no shepherd will come and like chase us away or anything but well we'll tell that we're hiking the jar 11 and you know normally it's like allowed to be walk like night stay only for a night and then get up early and get going so yeah hope for the calm quiet night and well, today, what we can say about today, it was a pretty incredible day, unexpectedly beautiful landscapes and views. We liked it a lot, only the last part was like a bit too challenging already, we just, you know, when you're getting exhausted already, you just, just wanted, you know, want to try to finish, just want to rest. It was a little bit excessive, like the last three, four kilometers, but we couldn't stop where we planned because there was uh, no water sources whatsoever really hope that the next days it will continue better and we'll have more water to resupply yeah it will help a lot because otherwise it's just you know too hard and too hot also we see that the days can be cooler you know the next couple of days which is also nice we prefer to wear the coat than to just like be in the t-shirt and still be very hot 
you can't put off your skin, you know, like it's, it's too hot. So, and yeah, the science today was pretty fine as well. We barely confused the route. We, we didn't confuse it at all. Like we used the map a couple of times, but otherwise there were like signs and stakes and signposts. So um, it's been great. And also there's been just nice change of terrain. We walked most of the day on the grass, on the moss. It's been pretty different from the rocky, you know, part of Pyrenees that we hiked before, which was also like nice change for us and we enjoyed it and well pretty excited to get closer to the ocean and continue tomorrow that is off today we think <laughs> and yeah see you tomorrow guys have a good night or a good day bye thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed this hiking trip if so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!